Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Today is the 20th of September 2021. It's a Sunday afternoon. We are having a bit of sunlight, which means I have a bit of glare. It's unusual that the sun stays up when I start doing a video. Usually it goes away. How are you doing today? Let's not knock over the camera again. Let's continue diamond painting on our new canvas called Angry Birds. Actually, it's one bird with a football and an egg. Something like that. Um, but I think the uh, name of the canvas is Angry Birds. Okay. Let's go with a nice color. Continue over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I told you after the uh, number eight, we start getting letters instead of numbers as far as symbols are concerned. Well, you don't have too much of this color. Sometimes I, when I put these out, they seem to be on the screen scanty side. I hope I am not going to run short from any of the colors because this canvas did come from far away and it would be difficult to uh, order. Of course I have some leftover drills. I saved them, you know, separate the square ones and separate the round ones. Most of them do have the DMC code. Now I have some canvases that are from the same company. <clears throat> so as far as it goes, the DMC code should be able to match the colors. That's not always the case. Sometimes even if you have the same DMC code, uh, the hue of the colors is slightly different. And uh, I just pop the drills all over the place, you know. I swear these people wait until I start to make a, uh, a video and they bring out all the uh, high traffic mode, whatever. And then the sirens and then the ambulance and then the fire truck and everybody else. Not to mention the wonderful lot of motorcycles. Such are the joys of living on Main Street. Actually, I've, I've gotten quite used to it. The majority of the time, sometimes they get unusually loud. And then, you know, then I wonder what's going on that um, we are getting such a high load of traffic. I was under the impression that there's going to be a section of the highway that will detour um, these big vehicles from the front, you know, from Main Street. Um, actually, it's not the trucks that make the most noise unless they're empty. There's a section on the street that they sort of bump, sort of a little cave it and they go boom down like that and it makes a lot of noise and the symbol C it is another red but a different DMC code well of course now the weather is getting a little bit cooler so um, we don't have the window open all night long although I prefer to have fresh air, but sometimes the noise gets so bad that you can't sleep. I have not noticed it lately, so. There is quite a bit of construction going on around. Okay, now either I have one extra or this doesn't belong here. Okay, that's the symbol C. Usually if I see something out of the um, 
not straight in line. I try to straighten out as I go along. Um, see what I mean? That's a motorcycle. I'm still suspicious that there's a hidden camera hidden somewhere when I get on the, on the uh, start recording a video. It sort of goes off. Come on, let's make noise. She's making a video. You don't want to be left out. Okay, look, I haven't complained for a couple of days, so enjoy it. Let's get these wonderful drills to line up. I would appreciate it. What would you do without my complaining? Seriously. Would be rather boring, wouldn't it? I switched to a different tray with the notion that the drills would line up better in this one. Wrong. Let's try this one. I think might have to do with how it's sectioned. I should try one with uh, closer lines, see if that works better. Now I really don't need four of this symbol because there is two, 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 two over here. So let's just take this off. Whenever I sit down to a new canvas, it takes me, you know, a couple of minutes to sort of calm down and get in the groove of making it. Yeah, you crook it here too, so I just push them in that way. I am waiting um, for some more. I think we have another unboxing to do tomorrow and then I'm waiting for some stuff to come from overseas these were from the store here in Hungary from Budapest or Aika or whatever the city is you know around the main um, capital and they're fantastic you know as far as that goes you order it and you they deliver the next day well, of course, not if you order at a closing time, but like if you order at normal time, office hours, store hours, they will deliver it the next day, unless it's the weekend. Saturday or Sunday, there's no delivery. Okay, now you're going to stick here. I have a feeling the camera is going to go boom again. This is 666. Yes. Okay, two, one, two, three. And the other red color is symbol five. And we have a lot of that. I hope we have a lot of the, um, the drills. Yeah, we put this in a bigger container. You see, now the sun goes away. Never fails. I told my husband all day long, I was opening the drape, close the drape, opening the drape, close the drape. That's it. I'm leaving it open. Whatever the sun decides to do. Okay, these are not going to line up, and I don't know why. I might have to wipe the tray. It does get sticky stuff all over it. <clears throat> Well, folks, we have trays galore, so let's try another one. Let's see who dumped the trails. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad since it's not sticky over there. Now, let's see if we can get these little creatures to line up here. Because they're being very co co cooperative. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm getting some good lines. Okay, that seemed to help. I think these two I'm going to give a wash. <clears throat> Maybe there's some um, sticky stuff on there and that makes the drills not want to go where they're supposed to go. 
They are being unruly in other words. This is the angry bird himself or herself. I don't know because there are eggs over here. One looks like a football actually or a soccer ball. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a girl bird or a boy bird. But anyway, it's awfully cute. We got some of the diamond paintings up on the wall today. Looking good. I have a big one coming. That's a winter one, but right now we're doing this Angry Bird one. This is a little, little canvas. It's very clear symbols, nice and easy. And then we are going to do the Halloween one because it's getting close to that time of the year. Now, I don't have any canvas for Thanksgiving. Actually, I didn't find any, but I think that the fall canvases that I've seen probably we could use for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to take a further look at them. And um, the only one I saw was one with the turkey, you know, and the horn of plenty. I was not too thrilled with it. And unless I am in love with the canvas, I am not going to do it. I am working on my amigurumi pumpkin doll. Actually, it's a doll. It's going to be dressed up in a pumpkin overall color, you know, like the orange color, and a little hat that's made like half of a pumpkin. But I don't. I haven't decided whether I will make it a boy doll or a girl doll. Sometimes I can talk, not often. Because uh, we did make last year a sugar skull. The girl from that. So perhaps we need a boy doll dressed up in a pumpkin costume next to it so we can have a boy and a girl. I don't know, I will see. Because I absolutely adore the girl outfit. So maybe we'll make a boy and we'll make a girl. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it comes along. I am not going to crochet any pumpkins because I did a lot of that last year. There is some pumpkins on the uh, Halloween um, canvas. So we will see what we can work out. I don't want to make too much of one thing. So if I can get a fall one that I can also use as a Thanksgiving theme, then I would rather get a bigger, more expensive one and um, use it for a Thanksgiving canvas. Um, now as far as Santa Claus and winter ones, I have those so what i have planned is a winter project with snow and deers is completely different than you know the santa claus and the um, snowman and the ones we were doing last year so um, i always want to add something new and different to my collection I do have it separated in my dossier, you know, like for Christmas or summer. But the one we're going to do for winter, I am planning to put on the wall in my bedroom. It's going to be a big one again. So until then, we're going to relax with this uh, snack size diamond paintings. And like I told you, I'm giving Victoria's Moon another try. Um, maybe if my suspicions are correct, I just happened to pick a canvas that was very difficult. Um, actually, the symbols on it were very difficult to see. Excuse me. 
ですね。So let's just muddle along with our little project. I'm very happy with it actually. Very happy that the symbols are so nice and clear. Um, I don't need to use the magnifying glass. Well, of course, I wear glasses, you know. They're blind. Um, but I didn't have to use a magnifying glass to figure out the symbols or the colors or what have you. Mainly when you kit up your canvas, your diamond painting, you want the symbol and you want the DMC code if available. Those are the two important things that should be on your jar. The rest is not important. And when I put away the leftover drills, I put away each, the leftovers from each canvas into a separate bag. So in case there's some mishap or something, and uh, you know drills need to be replaced or what have you um, then i have it all together in one place so i don't have to search through how many i don't know how many zillions of um, drills i have left over already once i have leftovers from everything i will not save them anymore except for the very special ones because it's just, um, you know, first of all, as far as storage space is concerned, and, um, you know, where should I put it all? I'm looking for another paper because I seem to be sticking all over the place, and this is how I dumped the drills yesterday, too, because the tray was sticking and well yesterday the drills went on the sticky part at least today it didn't go on the sticky part see i love this paper because i can move it around and it's reusable and it doesn't make as much noise as the crinkling paper okay now this seems to be in this tray they line up very well so i have to go through my little trays and see which one will cooperate the same way as this big one as far as making a nice line i need that to use my multiplacer of course if i don't have a line i cannot dip my multiplacer in it obviously you know so here we go no, you are not going to hear me complaining about this canvas. There's nothing to complain about. I know, I know, you, you miss it. Believe me, I will find something to complain about. So just calm down, relax, work along with me. Um, I'm using the basis for the doll called the Weeby Dolls. I think it's the cutest, chubbiest little thing. And I don't know what I did with this one, but it seems to have a crack in the middle of its back. You know, like the two tushies. I thought it was funny, but I will show you when I get to it. So you can have a nice chuckle. I see some of the diamond painters are doing Christmas in September. There was also a project going Christmas in July um, because like places like Australia, it's getting to be spring and summer. So when we have Christmas here, they actually have summer. And when we have summer here, they actually have the winter. So it started that you know, to get more and more the holiday mood, then let's do a project of Christmas in July when it's cold. I can't imagine a, a Christmas, you know, with 
summer temperatures, but it would be rather weird. But we make do with what we have. I think there's a chuckle on going around too from Diamond Art Club. I never tried that yet. I'm not that, how shall I say, advanced yet. Although we have learned a great deal together doing the diamond painting. Um, we solved many problems with canvases. So I think we are at the point where I really can't think of uh, too many things that could surprise us when we are working with the diamond painting. Of course, I would prefer not to have a canvas with problems, but we worked through that too. We managed. It turned out beautiful. That's not, that's not the point. The point was I nearly went blind trying to figure out the symbols. And that's a shame because I, you know, I don't know, but in my opinion, they would have to adjust the printer or the computer or what have you, and the problem would be solved. And naturally, if that problem is solved, they would have more customers. I'm not the only one with bad eyesight wanting to do diamond painting and simply can't make out the symbols. I mean, you can't do it. I know people that do diamond painting that are colorblind. I think it's absolutely amazing. But again, you would need clear symbols since you cannot... Um, some of the colors are difficult, so you would have to go by the symbols. This is very important as far as um, diamond painting is concerned to make sure you put the right colors in the right place. It's as simple as that. There's nothing um, so difficult that cannot be, um, you know, solved a little problem. But this certain company had a problem for years and they have not done anything. So I told you, I will not make a judgment on just one canvas. Maybe it just, you know, it was just me or I got a difficult canvas or what have you. I want to give them another chance to see if uh, the problem still exists before I would recommend the company to you. This company I would highly recommend and I did. I had no problem with their products, their delivery, customer service, everything is fine. Okay, let's move this paper over and let's do this. Um, this is a symbol file we're traveling along. Um, this is part of the Big Bird's main body, I would say. I think it's his chest. You know, when I'm this close to the canvas, I really can't tell you much about it until I step back and take a look. Um, then it sort of makes sense what we've been working on. Sometimes I wonder, you know, when I see the symbols, are you sure I'm supposed to put that there? And uh, when I put all the colors in, it sort of comes together. And we have 27 colors for this small canvas, which means we're going to have um, quite a mix of them, which will bring out much more the detail. It is a small canvas, but since there's only one big object, I would say the bird itself in the middle, so you can get away with doing a smaller canvas because there isn't that many details on it to get lost in a smaller canvas. So when you are ordering, you should uh, keep that in mind. Um, look at the picture, how much detail is there. The more details, the bigger canvas you need. If you have like one main object, let's say an animal or a rose or what have you, 
then you can get away with let's say a 30 by 30 or a 40 by 40 um, the little coffee cup was 25 by 25 you know but when you have a lots of details then I would say go for the big one believe me it's worth it because you're going to be working for a long time on it and you want it to look absolutely fantastic and actually the people that sell it wants it to look fantastic because they want a picture of your finished product and when people see how, what it looks like when it is finished they get the urge to do it themselves this is why they want a review and a picture or you know a small video if you can now as far as opening your boxes i would always do it on video because then you are recording right in the beginning if you're having you know like you don't have enough drills or something is missing from the kit you can prove on the video that this is the way you got it in the mail so definitely make a video of opening your boxes um, mark down the date so in case you have to get in contact with the company um, you can tell them exactly what the problem is. Now remember, some of the companies, they don't understand English. So the video it would be a way, way to show them this is what the problem is. Of course, you have translators, but <laughs> we all know those translators, right? Sometimes not very good. And with diamond painting, you need to show them what your concern is and what is it that you are missing that you would like them to replace it. Okay, we're going to put this back because we're done with this. I would like all of you to go into the container, not just partly. There we go. 321. They're in good order too. There was no problem kitting it up. And this is the H. Symbol H. Well, what can I say? So I have a chocolate color. Yep. Shake, 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 and line up. Okay. What are the colors in this birdie? I have not had a chance to check it out online what this Angry Bird cartoon is about. I suppose it's a bird that keeps on getting angry, you know, from the title of it, I presume. But it is popular among the kitties. I would say, first of all, because it's very colorful. Have you made any worry worms? It's a project for um, autistic children. Um, to put in their pockets, put a secret friend in their pockets, and they can tell what they're worried about or scared about to the little worm. He's not going to tell their secret. Uh, majority of the worry worms do not have a mouth. Also, these weeby dolls, most of them do not have a mouth. For the very simple reason that little kids can tell them all kinds of secrets and stories and they will not tell. I prefer to put a little mouth on them, you know, because I don't have any secrets to tell them. It's as simple as that. Okay.
beginning to look interesting, isn't it? Okay, that's a wing over there, I presume, on the side. There's a footsies right down there. Some yellow feet. Come to think of it, chicken's feet are always descriptive as yellow. I don't remember the other pictures with the birds in it. What color were their feet? I think they were black. You remember those? We were doing a snow covered um, bird feeder, the winter ones. Oh dear. Now that's a mess. Okay. Let's just get this straightened out. You can't have this. We're doing quite a lot of multiplacing right at the moment because we can. I remember the last canvas we had a whole bunch of multiplacing and then we had a whole bunch of confetti, but it turned out beautiful. You remember we did the embroidery one? It's already on the wall. I think it turned out just fine. I did show you a comparison of the one done with the diamond painting and the other one done with embroidery floss. Um, from what I've seen, they have caught the essence of the embroidery very well on the diamond painting canvas. But then um, a lot of these diamond painting canvases come from um, cross stitch patterns. If you see a mark in the middle on your canvas, on your diamond painting canvas, that means that it came from a cross stitch pattern. And that mark marked the middle of the pattern. This is why it's over there. That marked the middle of the picture that it was for the cross stitching. I don't know, I don't do cross stitching, I never tried it. I'm really not in any great um, urge to learn at the moment, who knows? You never know what I might learn in the near future. Always ready to try out new crafts. But um, I think that's a bit too um, too strenuous for my eyes, you know, the very tiny cross stitching. And I really don't have anyone over here to show me how. So as with everything else, I would have to learn it from uh, YouTube. And on YouTube, everybody seems to be born knowing how to do it. So I just put that on the back burner for now. Maybe I will get back to it, who knows. Right now I'm very busy with all the crafts I have. I have no intention of learning anything new. Let's say I'm still a learner in all the ones I'm doing right now. I'm not an expert in any one of them. Practice makes perfect. Again, my four placer decided to become a three placer. When I fill it up with wax, it becomes a five placer. Whatever it feels like doing, we'll just go along with it. Birdie is coming along. Actually, it will be more interesting once we get to the face 
Um, it's my opinion that once we put the face on a canvas, it sort of brings it to life, no? That's my humble opinion. Well, that was a little messy pickup because this one's upside down. That's why. Actually, I was looking at more sturdy tripods since I already lost my camera four times already, so rather expensive to have it falling over. This is heavier than the other one. <clears throat> I do like the one I had picked out. So Thank you very much for spending time with me this Sunday afternoon. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Please hit the like and the subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow afternoon. Bye for now. Bye.